Hi, in this video, we're going to be adding Samba server to our RASPBMC build. You can see the previous episodes here and following episodes here. On the left side of the screen, we have terminal because we're in Mac OS 10. On the right side, we have notes and you'll see these notes are available in the about section below. If you're not using Mac OS X, you can do this in Linux using console, or if you're in Windows, you can use PuTTY. You'll remember in the last video that we were able to find the IP address of the XBMC box, that is to say, the XBMC running on the Raspberry Pi, otherwise called RASBMC, when it appeared on screen. So the first step will be to connect to the Raspberry Pi. The default password is still Raspberry. Now that I've connected to the drive, the first thing to do is to look up the drive name. So if you remember from the last video, I connected a 16 gigabyte flash drive to it. So all I want to do is determine the name of the flash drive. And we can see here that the file system is at dev sda1. The next thing to do is unmount the drive. So I'll just take this and unmount it. Next, I'm going to format the drive into ext4, which is a Linux-based Linux-based file system. Now, don't worry, you'll still be able to read it from your Mac or Windows operating systems, but doing it in a Linux-based format makes it easier for the Raspberry Pi to communicate with it. ext4 is a journaled file system. So the journaling means that it'll have a better chance of success if the drive is accidentally dropped or ejected. All right, so we're done formatting it already. That was pretty quick. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make of the local directory where I'd like to mount the drive so that I can always find it in a consistent place. So I'm going to make the directory file already exists. I've already created media 16 GB in the previous session, but you should still do that command. Now I'm going to mount the drive to that folder. Done. The next thing I need to do is I need to find the UUID, the unique serial number available on that flash drive. I'll use that with the sudo blkid command. dev sda1 here with the label 16 gigabytes has the UUID that follows. I'll just copy that and paste it over in my note sheet on the right. The next thing to do is to grab this line, which is to edit the fs tab. Yes, the fs tab is the command that loads the drives at first boot. So you can see here, all I'm going to do is just copy this section, and paste it straight in. Now, I don't want those tabs to be at the start of the line, so I'm just going to remove those. There, and there. There we go. Now I can save with Control X, yes. Write to file name, FS tab, yes. Now that I've done all that, the last thing to do is to make sure that I change the permissions on the file so that it's available to read and write for everyone. All right. The next thing to do would be to install Samba if I was doing this on any other computer. But because I'm doing this on Raspberry MC, and Samba is already included, I'm just going to skip to the next step, which is configuring the Samba server. Take that, paste it in. At the end of this file, I want to include 
this section here on the right. But I can't just copy and paste into nano, so I'm going to have to retype it. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to press exit, yes, and yes, that's the file I want to write it to. The last part is to restart the Samba server. All right. Now I'm just going to uh, tidy up the window here on the left with the clear command. There we go. And the next thing to do is to connect to the server. Right, so there we have it. The file is now on the server, ready to be watched. Great. Sorry, there was a little glitch in there. I don't know uh, how much of it will be picked up on the video, but uh, my finder crashed when I happened to be doing this. Just remember, there's no perfect OS out there. Mac OS crashes just like everything else. If you have any questions, post them below. Remember to subscribe to my future videos. If you like this video, remember to give it a like. You'll find all of the uh, notes in the uh, About section below. If you want to check out my other projects, you'll find them on screen now. I'm just going to click this so that they've got a nice white portion of the screen to be on. There's a Donate button below.
in case you'd like to uh, buy me a coffee for some of my videos. Uh, if they've helped, please mention it in the comment section below. And actually, check if anybody's having problems. I like Linux, I use it often, but I'm not necessarily able to answer everyone's questions. If you know what you're doing, or you've had success or failures, help answer the questions below. Thanks again for watching. In the next video, part four, we're going to check out how to add torrents to Raspbian MC. Thanks again.